Hi guys, I'm Elliot Pulit with GuitarEdge.com. I'm here with Ben from Breaking Benjamin. How you doing, man? Right, man, doing good. How are you? You're doing good, man. Doing good. Um, so we're, we're over here in Guitar World, man. So uh, why don't you show me a couple of your guitars? Okay. These are all uh, PRS customs. This one in particular is uh, a baritone that they made. So I think it's a 70 to 16 gauge, and it's got a piezo pickup in the bridge, two uh, outputs. That's the acoustic, that's the electric. Goes to uh, two wireless packs. Plus I'm on wireless ears, so I, I got a lot of RF running through me all the time. But yeah, just for live purposes, you know, we have to stuff it with foam because, you know, it's so loud on stage and stuff. But, like, you know, when I'm recording with it, it sounds great, so I can take that out. Are those stock pickups then? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just the stock, like, humbucker or whatever it is, man. But I have it wired so that it, it's, I'd only have this pickup anyway. I have it wired so all that it is is the volume. There's no tone or nothing because if I did, I would just have the toggle switch all the way down and the tone all the way up and toggle switch all the way down is this pickup. So, And then there's a backup that's just black, same stuff, same thing going on, just a different paint. And then um, I have a standard model that's the same thing. It's just standard scale. And, uh, you know, this is like, this is kind of like the prototype that we did that kind of everything, all the changes that all the mistakes or not mistakes, but all the little tweaks that I wanted done with this, they took and they did with, with the, the baritone one. So right here, like all the knobs are removed and this, which is uh, the selector between the piezo and the pickups is uh, uh, cemented in place. So what they did was, I was like, you know, instead of, uh, you know, taking the knobs off and cementing, so just don't put it on there, make it so it's wired so that that's the way it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So the toggle switch is always down. Tones are always up, and both pickups are always enabled. So what I'll do is I'll take the acoustic signal, I'll have it running constantly, and I'll just use, you know, like a boss tuner, or any kind of thing that just bypasses the signal. So the pedal just, that basically acts as an on-off switch. Hey, cool. <laughs> So yeah, these ones are um, just like the first ones ever that they sent me that I still use. He's over there tuning my C-sharp main, which is actually the, fir the very first Paul Reed Smith that I ever had. And then this one, I think, was the second one, which is the C-sharp backup. And, uh, you know, it's your standard, I think it's McCartney model, mm -hmm. I think. It looks like it. Yeah, so it's, that's just your standard, and so is that. That's all, it, that's all I got, that's all I have with me. All right, we're here in the, the amp section, actually, in which he's running some Randalls. Why don't you tell us about those? Well, these are like, again, you know, I stick with something. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So these are the first things that they sent me. I thought it was pretty cool because you could change out the mods. So, you know, it's uh, let me see, the black face and uh, the recto. And then the backup head has the black face. It doesn't have the recto because I don't have another one. They, got, they get pretty banged up if you take them out. Mm -hmm which, you know, we do on the road. So if this one went down, I'd tell them to try and put the mod into the backup one so I'd have the same thing. But um, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's just clean, distorted. Everything else I have is like, you know, individual pedals. And then, you know, like I was saying before, I was thinking of upgrading to the model that has the MIDI to run like a pedal board. But for now, this works really well for me just because I like things to be really simple. I hate like a 100,000 knobs and pre-gains and all this stuff, just, you know, bass, middle, treble, gain, volume, and that's good, you know. Hi everybody, I'm Elliot Polite with GuitarEdge.com. I'm here with Aaron Fink of Breaking Benjamin. How you doing, man? I'm wet. <laughs> As you can see, we are I'm in listening. We are in a blizzard, <laughs> but Literally. we are stuck here, and I think we're going to be pretty at home here for the next couple days. So, um, why don't you show us through our guitar rig here? All right, buddy. So, just recently on this tour, I kind of, you know, I used to dance around with a bunch of companies, but I, I was using Ernie Balls pretty religiously in the studio and especially for these low low ass tunings that we do these seem to hold up and uh, 
I like the playability of them. So I went, what I'm trying to say is I went all, all Ernie Ball Music Man on this tour. And those are the Axis Super Sports? Yeah, I love like the body shape. Uh, Wookie, my guitar tech, uh, he told me they were half Telly, half, half, Les, Paul. half Les Paul. Eddie's idea. Yeah. The hybrid. <laughs> I love that. So, uh, nice and simple. I, I never, I, I've been playing guitar like 20 years, give or take. I've never once touched a tone knob in my life, so to me they're completely unnecessary. See, I like the, uh, the five-way switcher there, and we have to tape this off because I was getting a lot of this. <laughs> Hence the tape. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, I would get that all the time, and it doesn't sound that good through an amp when you get that going on. So, yeah. but I, these are all these are baritone length. Not crazy, they're just, I think they're an inch longer, right? It's 26 20, and a half? 27. 27, 27, 27 yeah, okay. So it's slightly longer. So you need, you know, you need the A pans for them. <laughs> so everything's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more awkward and, but I've grown used to it over the years. What kind of pickups are in this? DiMarzio. <laughs> 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 I haven't got the, uh, I haven't got the backups for those yet, so I still have like my my old Washburn stuff out here. This is like uh, this is what I was playing on the last record. A lot of these cool guitars, as well, just longer tone pros. Shout out, <laughs> um, baritone length again. I think it's the same as these, and uh, yeah, a little bit more like a Les Paul, like a straight Les Paul kind of sound. This is like, this is normal scale, which I like. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yes, my my buddy Tone, Tony. It's my friend Tony. Yeah. This is, this has a we don't, me and Tony don't hang out that much anymore. <laughs> they don't talk. They don't talk <laughs> we don't all. talk. We don't write each other anymore. But uh, I love them. <laughs> nice and simple. I love these seatbelt straps. Well, this is Pedal Town over here. Uh. Channel switcher, pretty self-explanatory, clean semi-dirt, I guess we call it. Uh, I just actually got this today. The guys from Dunlop sent this over to me. It's just the line level booster I hit for like solos and, and shit. Um, it, it gives it some volume, but it also gives it some interplay between the monitors, especially, which I need. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Um, this I've been using for years, which is kind of my personal secret weapon, if you will. This is used on, like, if the kids at home are fans of the band, I use this on So Cold. They're kind of tankish. They're a little oversized. I wish the company could make them a little smaller, but they sound cool. And, uh... <clears throat> You know, delay on, on every song. Almost, I use delay. It's a uh, huge YouTube wah pedal. You know, self-explanatory. Digitech pedal again. Tuner. Whammy. You got to have your whammy. Um, you know, I don't know what set for different things. Some songs I use uh, the shallow. I like with the pedal forward. Some songs I use two octaves up. Other songs I use the uh, octave up or octave down, depending. Like this, to me, even in my brain, is too complicated. But this is the bare necessity is what I need to get through the songs. And, you know, these are the tools in the toolbox, basically. I'm here with Aaron Fink of Breaking Benjamin. Thank you so much for taking the time for the interview, dude. Uh, we got Rocky music you. playing in the background That's going right, on here. Uh, you can actually see Breaking Benjamin as our cover story article 2010. First cover, dude. First cover, and we are happy to do it, man. Thanks again for watching.